Well, this is Spooky 2 software. I'm running um, actually advanced cancer treatment uh, with the Spooky 2 Central. And I tell you what, this thing is very, very easy to use. Um, you basically just go into the presets originally and um, you choose, you got to go down and scroll down to plasma and then just choose cancer advanced presets and it explains what they're for. And I actually printed out what it was. You don't mess with any of the settings. And when you get over to here to control, you can take a look at what's running. And what it's running is the two main right frequencies, which is 1,604,000 hertz. The other one's 1,530,000 hertz. And it's running in with a gated sequence. It goes through this generator here, this Spooky 2 generator. And then it goes through the Spooky Central unit. That's the plasma. And I actually have the, uh, you can see the wire for the contact mode. You can use that in conjunction with the plasma. And here the bulb is shining like it's. Now, I'm not using the other Phaetron bulb. I'm using the, I don't know, the original one. But they still work. And basically, when you're looking at this, it says the two original right frequencies are transmitted over one hour duration. Slow frequency feathering ensures cancer is directly hit during the uh, program. So he's got it built in with feathering, whereby it's not just hitting the frequencies directly that Rife used, but getting in and around them, the two main ones. This is the only machine that can actually get to the original Rife frequencies, and that's important because that's really what worked. You know, Royal Rife found two main frequencies that were common to all cancers. I'll show you something that's really freaky about this thing besides. It actually affects, it affects the lighting system in the house. Um, it's weird when the plasma is running. I'll show you. And you see Rocky the cat here is laying on top of the table, right? And do you see the light? The light's got one of those dimmers where you touch it. Here's Goldie the cat. <laughs> uh, it, it just the dimmer, it affects, somehow it affects the dimmer. It's not the light doing this. It's not powerful enough to make the light do this but it's affecting the dimmer mechanism even though it's on a separate circuit. That tells you that plasma's got some power, man. I noticed also the Lukoski multi-wave oscillator does that too. So, and uh, you want to make sure your cats or your animals are away from the device when you're running it because I don't think it'll hurt them, but it may knock out so many parasites that they'll have a, an effect on them or something. So this guy's about uh, 14 feet away from them right now, they, so that should be far enough. But you know, it's amazing. The thing actually does reach somewhat even 14 feet away. That's amazing.